I remember getting the phone call from Berkeley in the middle of a particularly messy and tiresome work day. I remember planning and complaining about the multi-day drive to move here, stressing about meeting new people and excited about moving closer to old friends. I remember summer seminar and hearing about Leadership Day and fellows, debating if it was for me, if it was something that I wanted to do. What is leadership anyway? Then, of course, they bribed me with food. How could I say no? I sat and I listened. I got to play with toys left on tabletops and think about fun ways to get people to use the stairs. It was exhilarating being around so many people who not only wanted to talk about health, but who loved to talk about making people healthier. For the first time, I was around my public health peers and I was hooked. I remember sitting in Starbucks trying to figure out how to answer all the questions in the application. What is leadership? How should I know? I'm only 23. Not having word and needing to send in a poorly formatted mess, being sure that there was no way I could be selected. Selecting what I thought was a leadership outfit, whatever that means, and fudging my way through an interview that seemed to gauge my personality more than anything else. But then I was in. But then what does that mean? If I believe that leaders are not born but made, that means I have 18 months to become a leader. I gave answers about what I thought a leader was, but had I stopped to really think about it? More importantly, had I thought about how I wanted to be? The information was seemingly never-ending. There were weekly tasks and TED Talks, Jahari windows and jargon, all designed to get us to explore. I tried out styles and tricks and methodologies. I wanted so badly to just find one thing that worked and roll with it. Trying is hard, failing is harder, trying yet again as fellows. The best way I learn is to do, so I did. My consulting team worked to solve a problem that we couldn't really define. We wanted a happy client, but we weren't sure what that could mean. We gathered data, we analyzed, we checked in, I learned. Yeah, learning is great, but what am I supposed to do once I walk across the stage wearing my fancy Salmon hood? What is public health really? What do I wanna do? Where do I fit? Visiting different places and seeing health in action, but nothing stuck. Nothing that stood out and made me say, yes, this is where I'll be. Did that mean I did something wrong? But wait, I was told that I was allowed to fail. I can celebrate failure. I cannot know what's next. I can plan on trying and liking and hating and growing and moving on. So what has Fellows done for me? My first response to why Fellows was sterile. It was how I would hone my leadership skills. Yes, that's true, but wait. I've consulted, failed, evolved, facilitated, stepped up, and discovered my story. There's not one way to lead, and I think the answer is a circle that has no beginning.